Racing. They're followed then by under control. One of the three JP McManus runners closely followed by Imperial Bead and Iberico Lord Joda Dancer on the inside as they swing now towards the home straight. Tapley taken on by Bo Balco. Arcoob is third. General Madrano then under control and Joda Dancer. Bertie's Wish has dropped back and they're followed by Imperial Bead as they run down the home straight. Iberico Lord is making ground from Sergeant Wilson. On towards the second last. Tapley and Bo Balco joined now by R. Coop, General Madrano, but uh, under control looks a big danger. The Philly in the white cap under control, and Nico de Boinville followed by Iberico Lord in the same ownership. But R. Coop took it up but wandered off to the left over the second last from under control in second. General Madrano is third, then Bo Balco under control, going much the best as they race on towards the final flight. Is under control from R. Coop, then General Madrano, Bo Balco, and Iberico Lord at the last now under control is safely over and seems to have matters under control five lengths clear of Bo Balco running on well those Iberico Lord to chase down under control as they race up towards the line under control is strongly ridden Iberico Lord is going to get fairly close but not close enough under control under control wins from Iberico Lord that more chased by Grenatine and Harry Codden here comes John Mon coming back on the scene on under Aidan Coleman they're clear of then editor de Giet and Funambul Sivilla. This is the third last. Captain Guinness made a bit of a mess of it. John Bond challenging out wider. Then Grenatine. They round the final right hand turn. Captain Guinness. Here comes John Bond as they race towards the second last. Captain Guinness from John Bond over two out. Nearly in the air together there. Captain Guinness on the far side. John Bond on the near side. John Bond keeps finding. They head on towards the final fence. John Bond now wearing down Captain Guinness. Here it is. The last. John Bon over just in front from Captain Guinness in second. Now they're going to climb the hill. It's John Bon by a length and a half, by two lengths, by three lengths. John Bon, what a good horse this is. A couple of early errors. He casts them aside and he wins the celebration chase. The novice John Bon wins from in second, Captain Guinness. Red happy around the inside. The goffer has improved now. Then Kitty's light and annual Invictus. And certainly Red and Broken Halo and Cool Valor. And there are lots of horses in with chances, as is so often the case in this race. Throwed on a marauder in the air together once again. Red happy around the inside. Revels Hill T Clipper. They're followed then by certainly Red on the outside. And... Uh, Behind these is the Goffer. They race on now towards the second last. Over it, Maroda led the way, but Kitty's Light now coming through with the challenge. Kitty's Light now after Maroda as they race on towards the final fence. Maroda, Kitty's Light is drawing level with Maroda at the last. They're in the air. It's Kitty's Light on the near side of Maroda. Then back in third is Revels Hill. Kitty's Light just drifting away to the stand side under a right hand drive. Maroda far side, but it's going to be third time lucky for Kitty's Light. And a marvellous double! is uh, just in front from Hewick in second. Fantastic lady in El Dorado Allen as they turn now towards the grandstand. Two fences left to jump. First flow far side of Hewick. Hewick and it's first flow by a bit more than a length but Hewick getting closer now though coming under pressure. The favourite followed by Fantastic Lady and El Dorado Allen. First flow on the far side of Hewick. They're going to jump the last together. Hewick a bit away to the right goes towards first flow but now Hewick strikes the front. It's Hewick that goes on from first flow who can't can't respond, then Fantastic Lady and this hugely improved chaser, Hewitt, driven clear by Rachel Blackmore to win the Bet365 Oaksy Chase. Tanner's dropped away. Kel Destan round the inside of Guadaton about to be challenged by Harper's Brook in the pink jacket as they jump the second last. It was Kel Destan just, just, but Harper's Brook and Keelan Woods now being delivered with a run and out wide Guadaton as they run towards the final fence. Guadaton on the near side, Harper's Brook in the pink jacket, Kel Destan drops away and with the loss, it was Harper's Brook Harper's Brook leads and is away, three lengths to Guardaton the leader though, is idling, he's pulling himself up, Harper's Brook Guardaton coming back, oh dear Harper's Brook slowing to a little more than a trot, and it's Guardaton that goes on to score Harper's Brook and Kel Destan challenging for second in the end Harper's Brook just throwing it away Quinta de from in second time hill, call me Lord, Nappers Hill, Goshen, nobody really asking too many questions yet maybe Time Hill just being asked to pick up a little bit Theatre Glory is now just upping the ante 
from Time Hill. Call Me Lord Goshen improving on the near side. Napa's Hill turning into a little bit of a sprint, but it's an uphill run all the way home. Theatre Glory joined by Napa's Hill on the near side. Then uh, Goshen, Time Hill, and Call Me Lord just caught a little bit flat footed. Time Hill on towards the final flight. Napa's Hill has picked up well from on the far side. Goshen, then Theatre Glory forced to switch at the last. Napa's Hill and Bryony Frost lands in front from Goshen. Near side Theatre Glory, then Time Hill and Call Me Lord. It's Napa's Hill who won on this day 12 months ago from Goshen in second place. Time Hill running on, but it's looking too late. And it's Napa's Hill. Napa's Hill wins the select. Sam Arriva has just lost his position slightly after that mistake and Earn River is struggling into the home straight on the long run towards the second last fine casting coming there strongly on the outside of the long time leader Babali silent revolution now stoked up but look at ICO really travelling as they head on to the second last El Muchacho coming through with a bit of a run and Sam Arif on to the second last uh, Krabili with Burbali, joined now by ICO, wider out, now stoked up ICO to try and put his seal on the race, fine casting, El Chacho and Sam Arif is rallying Gam gamely, trying to come between the ICO and fine casting, but it's Krabili that's taking it up under John Joe O'Neill Krabili over the last with a good leap there the others are running out of steam and Krabili looks a stout star up this grinding climb and it's Krabili by three full lengths to Babali and racing for the vision, a nice young horse here, Krabili wins the closer from his second Babali